So, here is the reason why I do digging throughout the winter. Here we've got an area of compacted ground um, because it's been walked on. And because it's compacted, the rain is staying much closer to the top of the surface. It's staying at the top of the ground and it will take a long time to drain away. Look at the ground next to it where I planted the onions um, and that was dug over pretty well. There are some pockets where the rain uh, is towards the top of the surface of course because it's just raining now but it's draining away much quicker and it will be drier much quicker than this area. Now in the morning when the frost comes this will freeze and this soil here will be colder a little bit than this soil here and this soil if it was all like this if it was all compacted the ground would be even more clumpy and even more clay like than this area is now if you're a seed, try to imagine growing through that. It would be very difficult. In fact, even plants can't really be transplanted out in soil that is like that. It has to be much more like this. So the purpose of constant digging over the winter is so that the rain drains away much quicker, doesn't freeze when the frost comes, and so the soil is kept that few degrees warmer and less clumpy, meaning that we can sow seeds in it or plant things in it much earlier in the year, a few weeks earlier in the year probably, than if the soil were to stay like that. That's the point of doing all the digging over, and I hope I've explained that clearly. And one other thing, obviously today I'm not able to do any of the digging that uh, I was planning to do. So, but I have been able to do one thing, well two things. I've uh, righted this, uh, this grow house because the wind had blown it over and I've made it a bit more secure. And I have moved out here the lettuce plants which I sowed in the first week of January and the lettuce black seeded Simpson they will eventually end up in one of these things one of these containers I'll probably have one each um, but they don't like the cold so I'm hardening them off by keeping them out here for a week or two just so they can get used to a little bit colder weather before going into the containers and I think that's a very important thing to remember at this time of year and probably from now through till the end of May is if it's a very tender plant which doesn't like um, the cold weather and you're moving it from the inside then of course you need to harden it off and that's my top, fi top tip for, the for today as it were if, even if I can get those words out <laughs> anyway Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with another vlog tomorrow. And the garden report tumbler is in the thing. And, very, yeah, thank you very much. Bye.